Schmeegs is back with a heavily requested add-on and UI setup video. Sorry this video took a bit longer than expected to come out. I've been busy, having fun, getting absolutely destroyed by Horde in World PvP. I want to preface this by saying I do not claim to have the best UI, but since it was requested, I will provide. I am a gracious kid, and I will lay everything out nice and easy for your consumption. I hope you fucking appreciate this, boys. Here is the full list of add-ons separated into setup required and no setup necessary so that you can download them and follow along. I will be going over how to configure all of the add-ons in the setup required section. Before you start, I recommend you download the Twitch client so that you can install and update these easily in the future. I will go in order of importance. By far, the most requested add-on is the weak aura that I use in the middle of my screen. To set this up, first type slash WA into the console. It will then bring up the weak auras menu. You can click the import option and import the pastebin link that I have given. This will then prompt this window where you can click import group. This will directly import my weak aura into your weak auras where you can edit the weak aura depending on what you like. You can also edit and drag around any individual points of the add-on that you don't like or you want to change by clicking the plus button and clicking any of the individual components. Now I will give you the original that I based mine off, but if you want to be a lazy prick, just copy mine using the pastebin link. I also have two other weak auras that are quite useful instance lockout tracker and group cc's that i will link in the description import them the same way as before the next highly requested add-on is neat plates which shows the combo points under the enemy player's hp bar as seen here don't ever fuck with my nodes by the way you're gonna die boy to configure these, go to Interface Options, Neat Plates, and Default Profile. Change it to the Blizzard theme because Neat Plates, as standard, are ugly as shit. Then, scroll down to Other Widgets and click Show Elite Icon and also Show Personal Resource on Target. This will now show your combo points. You can move the combo points into the position of your liking and change any other settings you like too. Moving on, I highly recommend Poisoner. This allows me to quickly apply different poison sets easily, depending on PvP and PvE. I put my icon here that lets me click for PvE and shift click for PvP poisons. For the setup, follow what I do here. The only especially important thing is to turn off the poison timer sounds because you really don't need this annoying audio One of your weapons to remind not you poisoned. when to reapply your poisons. If you do need these audio cues for whatever reason, that's okay. Do whatever you want, mate. No one will judge you. Here is my exact settings on my main, in case you missed something. Pause where you need. Next is item rack. I use this for my trinket slots. Alt click to create a new rack and drag it into the place of your choosing. When you are happy, type slash item rack lock to lock them. Use these macros to create keybinds for whichever trinket you are using in that slot at that time. Don't click your trinkets, folks. The next is Titan Panel. This is very popular, so I will be quick. I like mine to be more transparent and use the all black theme. Follow along.
straight into the next one, Spy. It is very useful to see other players and extremely popular. Type slash spy config to edit. I hide mine when out of combat and I have turned off the audio pings when players are detected because I hate audio pings. It has a kill on site feature, but I don't use this as I kill everyone on site regardless, but feel free to take use of this feature. This next one is an all around useful add-on, Leatrix Plus. I use this to hide the griffins on the standard blizzard action bars, disable screen glow on death, disable screen effects, disable loot warnings so that I can loot bind on pickup blues without having to confirm, max out my camera distance, dismount on any ability key press, show vendor price, auto sell junk, auto repair, auto accept res, and auto release in the future battlegrounds. A must have for general utility in my opinion. For grid 2, here is my settings, but customize it how you like. You are almost definitely older than I am. I do not need to hold your hand. For the last two, I will combine the explanation to save time. I use move anything to move the hover tooltip to the top center of my screen hide the blizzard default stealth bar, and to move the chat edit box above my chat window. I used Pratt mainly to move the chat box right the way into the bottom left hand corner of my screen. The Pratt settings are all about personal preference, so I will leave that for you to decide. So that covers off all the main setup add-ons. If what you were looking for wasn't explained prior, here is a list of what the non-setup add-ons do. And there we go, that does it. If I missed anything or something wasn't clear, leave a comment and I'll be sure to explain it if the question is not stupid. Next video will be my no bullshit guide on gearing a rogue for phase 2, i.e. if I was going to do it all over again, how I would approach it knowing what I know now. Last thing, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed. I genuinely had no idea this many people would watch and enjoy my content. I went from 27 to over 700 subscribers in one video, you fucking legends. See you next time.